based on this article, I'm not sure if we have any immediate advice for treating periodontal disease. We can say that periodontal disease is one of the novel risk factors for cardiovascular disease, likely via its influence on the inflammatory pathways. And what we can say is that it's pretty clear that lifestyle therapies such as dental care or even other self-management behaviors help improve periodontal disease. But as far as statins for periodontal disease, I'm hesitant to say that we should be giving statins on behalf of periodontal disease. Just like in cardiology, how we require outcomes data, for example, reducing heart attacks and strokes to show that statins have a cardiovascular benefit, I'm sure for the dental community, we also will want outcomes data showing that statins actually influence important outcomes in periodontal disease. But we can say that this is an inflammatory disorder with influence on systemic inflammation and cardiovascular disease, that we should be thinking about lifestyle therapy and statins when it's appropriate for other indications like hyperlipidemia. So do these pleiotropic effects of statins change our practice? I think this is a really interesting question because as we learn more about statins, we realize they do more than just lower cholesterol. As we see here, they lower systemic forms of inflammation and we also know they have plaque level effects too, reducing plaque level inflammation. So I think the question here is, do these new understandings of statins change who we give statins to? We traditionally thought of statins as just lipid lowering drugs, and therefore we gave them in general to patients with uh, lipid disorders or high cholesterol. But if statins also work by reducing inflammation and by reducing inflammation in plaques, for example, we have to think about should we be giving statins to different sorts of patients? If you're just thinking about the lipid effects, we would give statins very early in life to people with high cholesterol. If you're thinking about the systemic inflammatory effects, we would probably target statins at people who have high levels of systemic inflammation. And if you're thinking about the effects of statins on plaque, we would think that we should give statins to people with established burdens uh, of plaque in their carotid or coronary arteries. Taken all together, we realize that a wide swath of people benefit from statins. And we need to consider both their effects on the lipids as well as these novel pleiotropic effects, including those effects on systemic inflammation.